In the studio with us is Mr. Carl Hood. He is the Minister of Labour and we will be talking about recent developments regarding LIAT. Welcome to our studios. Thank you. Just before we start, we get into the meat of things, just put into perspective for us what exactly happened because we and that workers called in sick on Thursday morning it was and management was apparently taken by surprise. Just tell us what exactly happened. Well actually all of us were taken by surprise. Um, not just the management. Um, from the Ministry of Labour we are taken by total surprise. Because at the time of the, act, the action was taken, I never knew that there was an, an industrial dispute. As a matter of fact, um, looking at the procedures from the industrial agreement signed by the union and LIAT, um, the, the procedures upon which uh, disputes are settled, um, to me, was totally breached. Because on Thursday morning, when I was told by the Labour Commissioner that uh, there was some problems at LIAT, I asked him to find out what it is and let me know. And when he called me back to say there was a sick out, I said, well, well, how is that possible? So I asked him to call the union, to get in touch with the union, and get in touch with management to try to figure out what's going on. And that's when I was told that, that Lee, the union says that they didn't know anything about it. And they were, they were not part of that. Management, were, they were not quite sure why the workers took the action. So I was... I was of the opinion, well, if the workers take unilateral action without even the union being aware of it, then would the union reprimand the workers? Now, that is where, where, where my thinking was. I spoke to the Attorney General and asked him, well, what can be done? And I called, I called the President General of Tau. He didn't take my call, neither did he return my call. And that was on Thursday, just around midday. And. Um, and so Friday morning, again, I asked the Labour Commissioner to let's get a, a feel for that, find out what's going on. When we couldn't figure out exactly what's going on because the union was still saying that it knew nothing about it, I said to him, let's have a meeting. Ask them to come to a meeting. Let's sit together so we could clear up this thing because we want to know what's, what's really happening, especially at this time. So. Are you saying that you went through the day on Thursday basically not knowing what was not the reason? Not knowing what's happening. And the union was also saying that the they did not know the that reason? They did not, that they were not a part of it. They did not know what's happening. So what, what remedial action did the union take at that particular time, seeing if you don't know? Can you, just, can you really just take industrial action without the consent of the union? No, no that was my problem. And, and because I was, I was even saying to the Labour Commissioner that maybe the union should reprimand the workers for taking the unilateral action without the knowledge. Because we were in the dark um, up until Friday. And so I asked for a meeting of the, the union and Liat to, to clarify the issue. And the meeting was supposed to be held at 1.30. The meeting started around 2.30 because we were waiting for the, the members of Liat to come in because um, one of the two of the officials from Antigua came in and it was while I was leaving my office to go into the meeting room I was hand I was handed the release from Tao and frankly I, I got very upset I, I was I was very upset with the release because I think it is it was very disingenuous it was very um, it, 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 it was just totally wrong. And are you talking about this particular release headed this, this, statement from the Technical and Allied Workers Union on the industrial situation at Liat? This particular release. And you're saying this is even after you had called the Senator Chester Humphrey and did not get a response? I called on Thursday. A return call? We tried to figure out what was happening. Nobody could answer us. Um, I didn't get a return call from the President General. All right? And I had to say to him, I say, you have my number. Before this happened, all you had to do was pick up the phone and call me. You have my number, you have my email, you have all my contacts. Uh, I was not told anything. And then coming out to go into the meeting, I was given this. And I was taken totally aback. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, this is totally dishonest. 
Because mm -hmm. in the release, something that was said here that, that, that really upset me, because it says that it is clear that this development has serious implication for, to the extent that it seems that this government is prepared to take the side of the employer and use the facilities of the state to frustrate the legitimate, reasonable demands of workers. Now, how could that be leveled at this government when you refused to give us any answers, when we did not even know there was any industrial dispute? When we ask you what was going on, and, and, and the, the, the General Secretary says that they had no knowledge of it. So is this statement mm -hmm. in response to the foreign workers being brought in to, 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 to help the situation on the airport and I mean, maybe the ticketing office because the, the local workers were yes. off the job at the time? Yes. But you see, the point is, if we knew what was happening on Thursday, we could try to do something to mitigate it. Because since Thursday morning, we've been trying to find an answer, and they refused to answer us since Thursday morning. All right. The Labor Commissioner called me at 9 o'clock Thursday morning. All right. Usually on Thursday is my constituency day. He called me at 9 o'clock Thursday morning to tell me there's some problems with Leah. And from since then until uh, almost 2 o'clock on Friday, we had no knowledge as to what was happening. Because even the persons who came in from Antigua were not even quite sure why they were coming. But I asked them to come because I wanted to, clear, to, to get an understanding of what was happening. Right. Mm -hmm. So then, if we say that there is an industry, there is a problem here, there is a, um, an 